All right, so we are again working with our same data set, um, but we are going to focus more on the propensity score modeling in this part of the lab. So in here, what we are going to do is we're going to use um, an ensemble method known as the super learner. And you can try to check what are the candidate, uh, barrier, candidate models super learner can use. Super learner can use the GBM method, the boosting method actually, the generalized linear model or the logistic regression method. Uh, some of the other methods we have seen is the random forest method. Um, we have seen the stepwise method, stepwise AIC method. Uh, there are some other version of the method that we have not really talked about in this uh, part of the particular class but many, many methods are available within the super learner. So what the super learner basically does is that it will allow you to choose a couple of these um, learners from here and it will try to get prediction from all of those learners that you choose and then it will give you a averaged out or the weighted version of the predictions that uh, usually have uh, better statistical properties. So for example, in our example, we're going to use some of the candidate learners that we know already. We know about the logistic regression, we know about the lasso method, and we also know about the cart method or the classification and regression tree method. So in here, what we're doing is we are defining our outcome variable, we're defining our exposure variable, and we are defining our covariate list and we are defining it in this way because um, in this particular version that I have worked on, the formula was not really working very well. Uh, so I'm defining them in this um, vector, vector and matrix format. All right, so once we define our Y, A and X, we just specify those in our uh, super learner function. We specify that our outcome is binary we choose the library what was our library our library was logistic regression lasso method and the cart method we said verbose equals false otherwise it will print out a lot of information that you probably um, may not be relevant for many of the purposes but it is always a good idea to um, run with verbose equals true when you are testing your model and for cross-validation, I'm asking it to run five-fold cross-validation. So after this, what will happen is that you can predict um, all of the um, predicted values from the logistic GLMnet and R part. And you see, these are the predicted values and these are the uh, heads. That means the first six rows of all of the predicted values. These are all of the predicted values from the logistic mo model these are all of the predicted model for the lasso model and these are all of the predicted values from the cart model but the most important one is the first one that does not have any label that means this is the predicted value that was obtained by weighting um, all of these three methods and these predicted values are basically our propensity scores obviously all of these are propensity scores from different methods but these ones are from the super learner method and we summarize the uh, propensity score, it goes from zero to uh, 0.88. And then using matching method that we have learned earlier in an earlier lab, uh, we can try to specify what is our Y, what is our A, and we can specify the covariate equal to the PS that we have just defined. We can specify the caliper, pair matching, and all that. Um, and after that, you can check the balance. How do you check the balance? You can check the balance using the create table one function and you can extract the SMDs, right? So we are basically doing a before after case, before the, doing the propensity score matching and after doing the propensity score matching. And we get the SMDs for before after. Um, for our purpose, let us just draw a plot. So all of these codes are here, you can see these. All of these, um, uh, graphs that you are seeing here uh, these are 
the zero value the middle green line and the green line on the right is the 0.1 SMD and is it 0.1 uh, no 0.25 SMD this is the 0.25 SMD and this is the 0.25 SMD and we are just trying to see whether our SMDs after matching are within the 0.25 bound or not and you can see this gray line is before matching and this blue line is after matching and after matching the super learner method is giving very good result so let us investigate a bit further what was happening with the logistic model and in the logistic model you can see after matching uh, the SMDs were much uh, well behaved right uh, con con compared to the before matching what was happening with the lasso method you can see after matching the blue line you can see these are much well behaved because they fall within the uh, boundaries what was happening with the cart method you can see the performance even after matching these blue lines are not great so what does it tell you even though the um, this SL method is the combination of the GLM method uh, lasso method and cart method where cart method is actually performing very badly uh, you can still see when they are using the weighted version of the prediction the super learner model is actually giving very nice smds right so that kind of gives you some background of what to expect when you are using super learner and many different types of algorithms as candidate learner for the super learner all right so for today's lecture um, feel free to take a look at the reference particularly for the machine learning part this reference is very uh, helpful thank you